Hello, this is Thomas. Welcome to iCollect. Today we are meeting an artist whose art tells stories that reflect the Singaporean history, culture, identity and our multiculturalism. There's also a contest giveaway. Details at the end of this video. Now let's go meet our artist. Hi, I'm Yip Yu Chong. I create, I paint my Singapore. Well, pe people associate me with being a mural artist and they, they think that I'm really fascinated with just murals. Well, actually I did murals by accident uh, when I was taking a break from work in 2015 and my works on the streets because they are so visible and that was why I am called mural artist. But I am always been passionate about art even as a child. At the end of the day, I actually want to be just a general artist. So way back in 2017, after I finished the Tian Ho King mural, that 44 meter long mural, I wanted to do something indoor as long as 44 meter long or even longer, so that uh, that piece of work can be more lasting. The Tian Ho King mural depicts just the Hokkien's, but I wanted to paint something that is uh, for all Singaporeans, uh, more diverse. But I parked that idea aside because I was still an accountant at that time. Until 2020, at that time I was already an artist uh, when Professor Victor Chua, the gentleman who uh, allowed me to paint on his wall, my very first mural at Everton Park, he sent me a message uh, that had this long scroll of a Chinese painting uh, done by an artist called Tang Yao Zhong. It was 250 meters long and it depicts uh, Jiang Nan, a Chinese water village. I thought it was very, very impressive. I wanted to uh, create something similar and he actually motivated me. He told me, you should do something like this for Singapore. Uh, that kind of really motivated me to want to create this piece of artwork. I titled this painting, I Paint My Singapore. It is my expression of my impression of Singapore when I was growing up in the 1970s as a child and then 80s as a youth. I had four memories growing up alongside Singapore because at that time Singapore was also growing from a city of kampong and shop houses and then in the 80s all the buildings start to sprout up. I literally saw all the big tall buildings sprouting out you know, from my HDB flat living in Chinatown. So I really felt like I'm growing alongside with Singapore. By painting this, I'm like uh, painting my, my life. So the scenes that I have painted are all about Singapore's daily life. And I have painted 27 scenes all together, joined together to make one panoramic painting. And yet, in the painting, you can actually walk into the streets, go into people's houses to look at their way of life. I have also intentionally created uh, diverse landscapes. For example, I painted a Bukit Timah Hill, the Sambawang farmlands, uh, which kind of showcase the natural landscape, as well as the seas like uh, the Southern Islands, uh, the Northern Islands, and of course, uh, our HDB heartlands and cultural districts, and the city centre too, Raffles Place, etc. I wanted to capture the diverse landscapes of Singapore. And on top of that, I also make the painting feel like you are traversing from day to night, night to day, rain to shine, storms to uh, you know, full moonlight. It gives uh, the viewer, the variation and the experience of uh, really living in Singapore. On every panel, I inserted my signature. Sometimes uh, people cannot find my signature. And they uh, walk around five times, then they, they come and ask me, I can find 26 out of 27, <laughs> but I refuse to tell them. So, on top of my signature, I have also painted just like my other murals on the streets, cats, the dogs, the calendar with the date 12, which is my birth date, uh, the, the poor lady who, who is always seen begging or picking food crumbs, and of course Mr. Singh on a bicycle. And Mr. Singh wears a green turban. It's not that I intentionally try to insert them and get people to find, but they are just my supporting cast to make the whole story come alive. This book, Out of Joy, is about my journey to becoming an artist. Uh, Taiho followed me for one and a half years. 
joining some of my art-related events and he met many of the people who appreciated my work, supported my work and motivated me along the way. For example, my wife, who is really the one who nudged me to become an artist you know, after spending 25 years of my life as an accountant. He also interviewed people and myself too. During the journey, he observed how I've interacted with the people, how my works spark joy with them, how my supporters also in turn taught me how to enjoy my own work and the journey. I guess people call me a people's artist because they see themselves in my artwork. Yeah, indeed, I try to paint everyday life of everyday scenes. And that means it includes all sorts of people from all walks of life. The rich people, poor people, politicians, workers, and people of all races and nationalities. I'm really painting people and that's why I'm a people's artist. Do come and see Mr. Yip Yu Chong's magnificent work at this exhibition, I Paint My Singapore, which ends soon. Now, details of this exhibition is in the description. We are also giving away an autographed copy of this book, Out of Joy, about Mr. Yip Yu Chong, to one lucky subscriber. Now, to win this book, you should be an existing or new subscriber and comment in the comment section below. All contest details are stated in the description. Please read them to enter the contest. Now, we will also announce the winner in the description of this episode. So do check back and good luck. Now, this contest is organized by iCollect and not by YouTube. Do show us your like, share the video and subscribe. Now, whether you are a collector, creator or curator of collectibles and would like us to feature you or to collaborate, please get in touch with us via this email address. To the next episode, this is Thomas, signing out. Bye-bye.